connecting Accelerate to Capture requires just a few simple steps. I'm starting with one of the demo files that's included with Capture, but you can create your own file or use one of the demo files included with Accelerate as well. We'll start by adding a laser from the fixture library to the Capture rig. It doesn't really matter right now which laser we select. We'll see that by default, the laser projects a test pattern because it's not yet connected to a laser feed, and we'll use that test pattern to just roughly position the laser so we can see beams. One of the nice things about lasers in Previs is we don't have to worry about safety, so I won't be too fussy about how this laser is aimed. But with Accelerate and a visualizer like Capture, you could actually rough in your zones in Previs and get an idea of what effects will work with the available safe projection zones in your venue. Once we have that positioned, we can come down to the lighting fixture section of the fixture properties. The media option is where we'll select a laser feed, but we don't have anything there yet. While we're here, we'll turn off the display test card option to turn off that test pattern. If we switch to the media tab, we'll again see no available laser feeds, just this one video feed that's inactive. If we switch over to Accelerate and select to set up network and enable capture CAEX on the appropriate adapter, we should see capture immediately pick up our two laser feeds from Accelerate. If we go back to the properties for our laser fixture, we'll see that these two feeds are now also available under the media dropdown, and we can select whichever one we want to associate with this laser. If you don't see these laser feeds pop up, make sure that your network settings and capture are correct. The CAEX protocol that capture uses for laser feeds is an extension of CITP, so make sure that your CITP address is set correctly in capture. Setting this to automatic is usually okay, but sometimes you may need to select the IP address explicitly. Once that's all done, we're ready to move back to our console and start programming.